All right, Shalom. First off, we're gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it says, says Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go on this lesson on why do we call our group a camp? Okay, and hopefully, Lord willing, this is um, an, an edifying lesson, okay, for those who may question it, okay, or those that, that are new into this thing, you know, you know, hopefully this is edifying for you, okay? So with that said, I want to get into the scriptures, okay? Exodus 14 and 19, and the angel of the Yahweh, God, Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah, Went, I mean, which went before the camp of Israel, removed and went behind them, and the pillar of the cloud went before their face and stood behind them. Okay, now going into the word camp in the Hebrew, it's mak makana. Okay, okay, it says encampment, camp, camp. Place of encampment, a camp of armed host, army camp, those who encamp, company, body of people. Okay, now when we go out there, and you know we 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 uh, do our street teaching. Okay, we come together under a certain order. Okay, which that order is. Um, Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah, the one of the world anybody calls uh, God and Jesus. Okay, and he has orders that um, his men are supposed to follow. Okay, so with that said, I got this uh, quick scripture 2 Timothy 2 and 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah. Okay, now. What does the word soldier say? Okay, it says uh, a, a common uh, soldier, a champion of the cause of Yahweh Shah. Okay, so what that mean is that, or even even going uh, uh, further, it says from a presumed derivative of the same, a camper out, i.e., a common warrior. Okay, a soldier. Okay. And the men of the Lord are supposed to be soldiers. They're supposed to be warriors. You know, nothing uh, is really supposed to, to get in our way when it comes down to uh, spiritual things. You know, a carnal person will look at um, what we do out there uh, when we street teach. And uh, they like look, look at it from a carnal standpoint. But... You know, we're not out there to, to uh, uh, cause terror, you know, blow ourselves up like these uh, idiots that they try to um, put us down with, you know. So it says a body of people, okay, which we are the body of the, the, the Heavenly Father. We are the, the men that the Lord set up, okay. Um, so that's one scripture. The camp of Israel, okay? Which Great Millstone is just a camp of Israelites, okay? Now, this is jo Joel 2 and 11. It says, And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, which, you know, that's what that's what he is, he is doing. He's letting the world know, okay, that he's going to um, destroy America, okay? The, the, the scripture says that the the eyes of the, of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom, okay? So he, when we go out there, we're, we're uttering the voice of the Heavenly Father, okay? Um, when you go into Exodus 15 and 3, it says, The Lord is a man of war, okay? So the Lord has a camp that he, um, he the, the, the men... The soldiers that he put together, you know, you got to, you know, when, you, when you're in war, you have guys that 
are soldiers, okay? It says, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. And the Lord, Lord is not a name. Lord is a title. When you go into the Hebrew, which this is what we do, the name is Yahweh. okay? It should say, Yahweh is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. Okay, so the Lord is a is a man of war. So who who is he warring against? You have to you have to um, question that. Okay, and we make it known who the Lord is warring against all the time. Okay, so when we go out there, which we're commanded to do, uh, Luke fourteen and twenty three, and the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them that. I mean, compel them to come in that my house may be filled. So we're trying to bring in the soldiers, okay? The ones that, the, the, what, what the scriptures say is the elect. We're trying to bring in the elect to teach them how um, they're supposed to follow the Lord the correct way, okay? And pretty much when, when, when brothers go out there, okay, it's a, it's a certain order or a certain way of things uh, that are supposed to be done okay um with that said i want to go into the word uh, training camp I, it says um a training camp which we're was that's pretty much kind of what we're doing out there a training camp we're training brothers up to you know to, to do what they're supposed to it says usually with an army camp type environment you know the, the scriptures uh lets us know how brothers are supposed to be you know you're not going to have if somebody uh like like a uh, uh the 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 same way where when you when, when these guys go to to, to boot camp and in, in the military you know their instructor is in their face and you know the the guys are not supposed to um um be laughing or joking and playing around you know which we go out there we sometimes brothers play around but hey this is our lives on the line you know so the 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 mentality is like we don't want um no fools we don't go out there to play around we we go out there to let people know that america is going to be destroyed which nobody wants to to hear that you know nobody the people that's walking by on that on that every day life they don't want to hear about america being destroyed okay and then they see brothers um saying that's right and stuff like that you know when when brothers make points okay it says usually with an army camp type in environment where people go to pr participate in a rig rigorous and focused schedule of training in order to learn or improve skills and and what we what we what we out there learning you know what what are we out there well first off we we, we training right now okay learning the, the the scriptures okay praying and doing hardness as a good soldier as the, the scriptures uh say okay um it says rigor rigorous okay now you have um the scripture in second timothy um four and two it says preach the word be instant in season okay when it's hot it says out of season when it's cold okay and, and when when you look at the military though they they train they go out you know if they, they'll go out in the middle of the war the uh in the middle of the coat the winter or whatever it says reprove rebuke exhort with all long suffering and doctrine okay and and that's what we do when we go out there okay we we do we follow this this, this, this guideline okay um it says where, where people go to participate in a rig, rigorous rigorous um and focused schedule which you know brothers go out there uh some brothers go out there for for uh certain different days you know for for numerous amounts of hours the, the time that brothers put sent put into this this truth man is for the lord man okay it says focus schedule of training in order to learn 
or improve skills, which is the, the scriptures, going back and forth with, with other uh, people, okay? It says, um, or not, not necessarily going back and forth because we feel as though that we had the truth, man, okay? If somebody is listening, you know, and they, they, they sincere, then we're going we're gonna, to uh, deal with them, you know? It says, usually skills involving physical action rather than book subjects and what we do is the the opposite okay we're 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 involved we we're having skills that involve the book subjects which is the scriptures rather than the physical action okay so with that said i got this scripture second corinthians 10 and 4 for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal so you're not going to see us out there uh, looking like the Black Panthers, you know, which they want to sit up there and say we black Hebrew Israelites, you know. You're not going to see us out there with guns and, you know, uh, harming and, and, and destroying people, you know, beating people up randomly. You're not going to see us out there, okay. The scripture says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, okay. But mighty through Yahweh to the pulling down of, of strongholds, you know. Cause that's that's how we're going to reach the, the people by preaching this word okay now that's not to say that you know somebody comes we're not going to defend ourselves you know but at the same time like hey what what what, what did the, the scripture say what did yahweh said uh said man you know if this is if this was my kingdom my servants will fight you know so the the thing is we're not out there to to, to go out there and fight you know it hasn't happened yet, but but we know how um, how the the the, the so-called white man is, the devil that he is, you know, is going to try to set it up to where where it looks like we we're doing stuff because they already count us as, as terrorists. Okay, it says um, usually for an armed force or an action sport. Okay, uh, continuing on uh, on Joel two uh, two and eleven. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great, which is the camp of Israel, for he is strong that executeth his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and who can abide in it? And we telling people that this place is the, the day of the Lord, when the Lord, okay, is going to um, bring glory to his name, okay, he's going to glorify his name, he's going to let it be known that he destroyed this place. Which we're letting people know, like, okay, Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shah is the one who's about to destroy this place. And people don't want to listen. But the ones that want to want to get it or going to get it, you know, they're going to listen, man. Okay? So, um, this is 1 Samuel 17 and 45. Okay? To go back off of the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. It says, uh, then, then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield but i come to you in the name of the lord of hosts okay and when you're going to the word host is tazaba it says that which goes forth army war warfare host army host host of an of organized army which you have to be in order. We're, we're in order of Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shah. It says, host of angels, of sun, moon, and stars, of whole creation, war, warfare, service, go out to war, service. Okay? So, it says, um, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts. And that's what we, we out there doing. We proclaiming the name of Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shah. The guard of the armies of israel you got different camps in 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 different cities that that go through different um different um different fields or different things all all the all the camps have different spirits you know we all teaching the same thing we all have the same goal and that's the same way with the um with the the, the army okay the the navy and 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 any other um um field of the military okay you got the navy seals in the navy okay and you got different different other fields you know and that's what 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 what, what brothers are doing 
You know, the Lord has an army and he has certain guys that do certain different things. Okay, which all make up uh, parts of the body. It says, whom thou has defied. And a lot of a lot of people out here are defying the Lord. Okay? But as 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 uh as I said before, you know, we out there to get the ones that are gonna get it. Okay? And um I'm gonna get this uh quick scripture. Um first off, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this one off. Second Timothy two and four. No man that wars entangle himself with the affairs of this life. You know, so we don't come out there on our own personal um, uh, life and stuff like that. We might make make points about things that we went through, you know, but it's all to try to reach the elect. You know, it said when we go out there, man, all all the 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 the, um, the things that that come along with this world, you know, it's 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 only about the Lord, man. You know. With any, with any man that's really a man of the Lord, it's only about the Lord, man. It says, no man that wars entangles himself with the affairs of this life. So we're not worried about, you know, if we lose family or, or anything because we understand that this is what the, how the, the Lord uh, uh, made us do. When, when, when God's going to the army and, 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 and the so-called white man's army, which is Esau, according to the Bible, the Edomites, according to the Bible, when they go into the army and they sign their life on that, on that, on, they sign that line, they put their life on the line, and 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 the so-called white man don't care about what you did in the past, what your dreams was. You got these obligations of what you're supposed to do, and that's the same way with 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 uh, the Lord. The Lord said you're going to do what I told you to do, okay. And if you ain't, you don't want it, what you gonna get? Dishonorable discharge, and, and 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 you don't want that because when you get that dishonorable discharge, that's when um the the the, the Lord is probably going to destroy you or kill you, as the scriptures say, because you have to fear y'all by some y'all side. It says that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. Okay, and this is the last scripture, um, Jeremiah. 16 and 16 behold i will send for many fishers saith the lord and they shall fish them but that's what we do we go out there and we we're trying to be fishers of men trying to reel in the elect trying to do different ways of different things to try to reach the the, the people and in one way or another the, the people are going to get it because the lord promised it and it says and after will i send for many hunters and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. And this is after the, 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 the second coming, okay, of the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus when he comes back, okay? The, the men that you see out there that are, that are fishing, trying to reach the people, pretty soon those people are going to be, I'm talking about the people that you see out there, they're going to be turned into hunters, Okay? And, and, and the Lord is going to use that, that army. Okay, right now we just in training camp to try to get, you know, our, our, ourselves together. Okay. And, and to learn and improve these skills, to, to gain the faith. Because we don't know what, what the heck we're going to go through when we go out there. You know, we're dealing with, with, with the scriptures and, and people hate the scriptures. You know, they hate the Lord. You have many different, many different people that walk by. When, when we out there, we, you, you never know what you're going to get, okay, so so brothers have to be on their P's and Q's when we go out there, and that's the reason why it's called camp, okay, because the Lord is about to destroy this place, and he getting his men ready, okay, before this place go down, so with that, hopefully this lesson was edifying, and I want to say salawam till next time.